need to do. So we will keep that in mind as we go through our other tasks. If you have, if you if you open up a test and you're looking at the hand and you draw a complete blank, raise your hand and I'll sort of point you towards the examples you need to look at. So I'll say, hey, try and look at the examples in week five on a Monday or week six on a Tuesday and take a look at these. This is what you should be looking at. So it's not that you have completely uh, that you have no options. I will help you if need be. So today the topic is functions. We are going to take a look at functions this week, well, at this today, and we will spend another week doing functions right after spring break. I'm not handing out any assignment this week or any lab because I'm not sure how far we'll get into that chapter. And I want you to focus on the um, basic principles of how functions work before we spend a lot of time working on them. Functions are a way to break up your program into smaller chunks. What we've done so far is essentially write your entire program as one paragraph. All of us who have taken English classes know that you can't have a term paper with just one paragraph. 